Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to the Saber Zone. This is the video that I talk about what you guys had to say. And I had to make another one because I ran into a comment I really liked. And a shout out goes to Michael Andrew. And he says, I'm happy Krebs is in Rochester. Maybe Pekka can make him great. And my God, what a way to look at that. Michael, I wasn't even thinking of the Michael Pekka factor. I really wasn't in all of this. Yes, I've made video already on, on Pekka being there, how important it is. But in this whole thing, you know, you get caught up in these trades and I started thinking, oh my God, this is so true. Quinn's doing well, you know? And Paterka's doing well. And it seems like all the youngsters are doing well over there. Really doing well. And I keep forgetting the, the Pekka factor. And a guy like Krebs could go down there and thrive also. This is another smart thing the organization did this year was getting Mike Pekka into our organization where he belongs and getting him in our organization somehow. And who knows where it's going to lead to in the future. But I could tell you I'm, I'm thrilled with the results I'm seeing in Rochester. I'm going to make a future video on that. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't had time yet to slap it together on paper before I get on it. But uh, I, I've been very, very, very happy with what I see is going on over there. Uh, I think the majority of us feel that way, right? I mean, we're looking at this saying, my God, like this is really serious the way these kids are playing down there. And I kind of hate to say it, but I kind of expect Krebs to do the same. I really do. I don't want to throw all that pressure out there, but I really think it's possible. You know, he's going to go out there and, and really do his thing really big like he might just impress us to a point we say we got to bring him up and people say why aren't we bringing him up now because guys it's not about this year i hate to say that it's not we have guys that we can play out this year with while these kids develop properly we've got that's more important than this year we're not making we're not intending for a playoff push or any of that stuff this year not yet we've got to be patient we've got to give it time and when it's right, they will call them up and they will send them back down most likely. But for now, let's just be patient with the plan because as I get it, we're fed up. We want to make the playoffs. It's a decade. All that. I know. Look, I've been watching them since I'm a kid in the 70s. I know. I'm with you. Believe me. But we got to get this right. If we don't get this right, there's no future Stanley Cup. We got to get this right. So I want the Sabres to get this right, groom the kids properly, Leaders like Pekka can teach them about leadership, not just about hockey skills. He can teach them how to think, not just how to react. All, those, all these things are important because when it comes down to it, and you're in a game seven of a playoff series, what Mike Pekka taught you might come out in that third period. These are things we have to let develop into the kids as they come up. And the culture changed, no matter what, the losing streak, it's, it's changed. It is what it is right now because of our roster. It's not because we're in the, we're not in the dressing room thinking we're losers like before. That's gone. I guarantee that's gone. It's not, that's not the issue now. The issue now, of course, is just raw talent. It's why we're the lowest paid team in hockey. We're the least talented team. <laughs> but, you know, like, but it doesn't mean we're a bad least talented team. Because they were playing like a team before, and if we can play like a team again, we'll be competitive again. So that's my hope, is I just want to be competitive all year. And that three-game losing streak is not sitting well with me, but we'll have to see next game. If they snap out of it, or if it's four. And then we have issues. But we'll still be 500, you know? If we float around 500 all year, like I said in many videos, I'm good. I really am. So I thought this was an important point. You know, we got to look at the Mike Pekka factor in all of this too. Mike Peck has got his hands on these kids. They're in good hands, folks. Trust me, they're in good hands down there with uh, 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 probably, in my opinion, the best captain in our history teaching them about leadership skills. 
All right, that's it. I just wanted to let that out. I, uh, I've done my videos for now. I'll see you folks probably at some point tomorrow. So have a great night. And I will get these videos up. I hope not too late to you. So we will do um, a pregame. I'll, I'll see you in the pregame for the Detroit game tomorrow. Till then, folks, hang in there. Have a great night, and I'll see you then.